Hey there, Leo. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message, so take what fits and leave what doesn't. If none of this fits for you, just try a different message. I'm going to pull from the Animal Spirit Oracles and the Light Seers Tarot to see what's coming through for you guys today. If you are interested in a personal reading, my email is in the description box below. Let's go ahead and get started, see what we've got coming through for Leo. Please and thank you, Spirit. First card out, bring a gentle touch with dear spirit. 18 breaks down to a nine. And then claim your independence with cat spirit. 13, lucky number 13, breaks down to a four. Right off rip, I'm getting a very genuine individual. Nightingale spirit. Love is all around. 41 breaks down to a five. And then life is a mystery with Bobcat Spirit, number eight. Oh, wow. Transformation is beautiful with Butterfly Spirit, master number 11. 11's are doorways. That Bobcat Spirit with the eight. Eight is something that keeps coming. It's like the, the middle point, right? Like you keep going, coming back to this one specific point. Something that's infinite, never ending, or cyclical even, right? Some of you are detaching with love to clearly see the truth in a situation. Um, I'm getting the sense that there's a person here that is a little bit dangerous. Just because they're risky, you know what I mean? Um, they play too much and, and they're a little risky. It can be a little dangerous. So there's almost this sense of because you're so unsure what to expect from this person, you're kind of, in the nicest way possible, taking a step back, distancing yourself. You still really care about this person. It's just, um, There's something that feels wrong, something that feels off, something that doesn't feel right, like, oh, it's, it's spiritually dangerous. You're picking up on it, um, not exactly, yeah, I, I'm not 100% sure what this is, but I can definitely feel it, I can definitely sense it, the tower. I am not surprised that's there. Let's see, dear spirit, bring a gentle touch. Can I get a clarifier for that, please and thank you? Five of wands. Yeah, it's, it's this, there's conflict. There's too much conflict. This person might even be trying to compete with you in some way and you're like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, that's not what we do. We don't compete with other people. We find what we're good at and we blossom and we support each other and everybody's got their own thing. Some of us, you know, we, we have the same thing, but we have it in our own unique way, our own version of that thing, right? So um, we can all share, we can all play nice, we can share the spotlight or the stage or whatever, you know? Um, but this person is a little bit they're making something a competition and it's it's not a competition it's not supposed to be what's this cat spirit claim your independence the four of wands some of you guys are actually what is that? Two of Pentacles. Yeah, if they show up at your house, you're maybe you're playing it off like now's just not a good time or you're busy right now. Um, but I'm getting the sense that you are no longer accepting 
or sending invitations to this person. It's almost like, for some of you guys, you might have to kick somebody out of your house. I know, you, I know that you're trying to keep this as respectful and as lighthearted, um, as calm as possible, right? But this person might be fighting with you and you're, you're not going to get riled up here. You're not letting them trigger you. However, the way that they're coming at you is very gross. It's very unnecessary. They're taking it way too far. Somebody could be really big mad or somebody is just... It's a low blow is kind of what I'm feeling here. So you might actually have to kick somebody out of the house. For others of you, this has to do with family because this is like the people that you live with, you're trying to build a family with. We have family, I couldn't help but see it peeking out behind the two of wands. Yeah, people that you've invested time and energy. This is family for some of you guys. This is a family member and you're like, you know what? It's just, it's too much chaos. It's too much drama. I need you to leave. And the Queen of Cups, this is what I'm saying. Like you can feel, you can sense all of this playing out before it takes place. The Queen of Cups. But love is all around you. You are very protected, you know. It's wild to me that this Queen of Cups is actually the Scorpio energy because it feels very cancer, half in and half out of the water. wonder if you're a cusper or you're just dealing with the cancer. Is there any, or I'm sorry. Yeah, I guess. Is there anything else about that queen of cups? Yeah, the three of wands. You can see things before they happen. You're also very aware. You can feel the presence of other energies. And I think that right there, having this ability is what's allowing you to feel when somebody's got this um, inner conflict going on and you're trying to be nice you're trying to be gentle it's like you're trying to be accommodating to someone it also feels like they're the kind of person that expects this from you they don't say thank you they say great job you did really good with that you know what i mean it's it's undermining it's those low blows them jabs tell me about life is a mystery with bobcat spirit thank you yeah, it's just, it's too much. <sighs> you were really hoping this wasn't going to, you know, it wasn't going to come to this, but unfortunately it did, you know, and you just kind of move right along. Some of you guys, again, you're sending someone packing and they might act confused, but they know damn well what they did. Don't let them... Yeah, exactly. You've got your boundaries up. Yeah, you're definitely either kicking somebody out of your house or just letting them know somehow. Again, in the nicest way that you can possibly come up with here, um, given the circumstances that you need to leave. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to associate with you anymore. I just... You need to go. You need to go. So let's talk about butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. Right off rip, what I'm getting is you just feel a lot better after releasing this conflict, this drama, this competition that somebody was trying to, like, compete with you. It's just so ugly. Yeah, the fool. You're cleaning the slate, and it feels really good. I, I can't make that up. Look, King of Cups. This is, I love myself enough to not put myself through that. The magician, because I've got other things I'm trying to do here. That's what I'm choosing. I got to let this go. I got to let this, you know, because I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to move forward with my life. I'm trying to love people, and you're trying to fight with me? Who the fuck are you? Oops, sorry. My shadow. My shadow. <laughs> it's because this card came out. Um, My shadow is like my number one defense. When I need to tell somebody you have to go, it's my shadow that helps me do that. Because my shadow would love to t put somebody in their place. You know what I mean? I'm not naturally like that. I think that's all coming up here, Leo, because you're not naturally like this. You you don't like having to kick people out and telling people, you know what? I, I can't. You There is something wrong with you, you know? Um, King and Queen of Cups is... 
your intuition is growing. Okay, it's going to be a lot clearer. You're going to trust it more. It's because you're trusting it more. You know, you're recognizing when it's a vision before it plays out instead of, you know, it plays out and in that moment you're like, oh, deja vu. No, deja vu is just a premonition that you failed to realize was a premonition when it happened. That's why it becomes deja vu because you didn't realize that that was actually going to happen until it does. So, yeah. Trust your intuition. Look at that. Five of wands, four of wands, three of wands. There's a countdown. And at the bottom of the deck is the magician, but the last card out is the fool. Zero. Yeah. So somebody's, um, I think the amount of stuff that you've put up with, with this person, like you're wearing thin, you're, you're coming to a close here. You're coming to the final straw. Like I just, I can't do this anymore. I've compromised as much as I can. Now I need to be honest with myself and you and everybody else here. This is done. So guys, I'm going to leave it there. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. We have cancer, Scorpio, and Aries on the board. Virgo, Gemini, Gemini, Pisces, Libra, Taurus. Because we did also talk about these two. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love yous, and I will see you soon. Until then, stay beautiful.